The last time the collegians came, there were 48 states, a Roosevelt in the White House, and Seabiscuit on the track. 1938, DePaul against St. Louis. They don't even field teams anymore. The last time Northwestern hosted Illinois on my ground, 1923. So much has happened in my waiting. I've gained lights, filled rooftops, grown into a team's identity. But my identity, 4,000 yards of soil, four acres of bluegrass, that's room enough for a gridiron. So let the Cubs hibernate. The cats are coming back. And today, let my confines be a bit less friendly and a lot more fierce. I am Wrigley, and I am ready. Still 131 days away. But Wrigley Field has hosted 365 NFL games. And back in the day, some college football as well, but not in more than seven decades. It's tight inside Wrigley. The controversial layout, that padded wall just a foot from the end line, creating a last-minute rule change in a football game unlike any other. Go West, young men. And both offenses will go East to West, right toward that Cubs dugout. This is a Northwestern home game. This is a marketing ploy that helps sell a whole bunch of season tickets. And here we are, college game day, <laughs> right across the street, yeah. corner of Clark and Addison. This is home plate right inside oh, there. Man. Chris Fowler, Lee Corso, Kirk Herb Street, Desmond Howard, Aaron Andrews, and Tom Rinaldi will join us. Give it up for Chicago Lamb. Yes. Yeah, Cicero and Rockford. <laughs> Good for Chicago. a couple of Cubs fans. A lot of birthday parties inside this place back here. It's fun to be back. You know, I, I was born, I was born in Cicero, Illinois, which is 20 miles from here. And 65 years ago, my father brought me to a Wrigley, Wrigley Field and shot goggle bear. Game. I'll never oh. forget the thrill of being there with my father. That's that was awesome. a, a great thrill. That's great. That's 